Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. I'm going to have a fun show today. Um, I've seen this meme going around. Um, There's this kind of debate going around. How would Canelo do against the Super 6? Um, the Super 6 from you know a dozen years ago. The original Super 6. Uh, Ward, Froch, Abraham, uh, Kessler, uh, Jermaine Taylor, and, and Andre Durrell. How would... Can I do with those guys? I don't want to break that down. I don't get into that. Uh, but before we do, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Comes at you twice a day. Uh, it comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to that channel. Uh, also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Please subscribe to that channel. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's near and dear to our heart. Please subscribe to Texas uh, boxing scene on YouTube. Let's get into today's show. The Super Six. Um, look, there's the one fight which is the one everyone wants to debate. Ward versus Canelo. And that would be a barn burner at 68. Uh, we'll get into that, but I want to come to that last because that's kind of the one. Like People posted that because they want to say, a young Andre Ward, prime Canelo, 168, who you got? <clears throat> it's a great fight. Um, before we get into that, I, I want to talk about two other fights. First, uh, Andre Durrell. People forget how good Andre, a young Andre Durrell was. I, I still consider, um, of, of my time, Andre Durrell to be the best fighter of this year to not get a world title. That's how good Andre Durrell was. Um, he got absolutely hosed in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a terrible decision. One, he probably won nine rounds in against Carl Froch. Um, I mean, horrible decision. That was back in 2009. Um, lost a split decision. Um, it was in Nottingham. I mean, Absolutely, two of the judges had it 115-112 for Froch. Um, Alejandro Rochin, an American judge, had it 114-113 for Durrell. Um, besides that, uh, he, he had a, a win over Derek Friendly early on, uh, Mike Pascal, uh, Shannon Miller, you know, names like that. Uh, but he was really, really good. Um, and at that particular time, I think he was 25 years old. Uh, when he fought France, maybe he was just 26. But he certainly looked on his way. And then he fought Abraham in Detroit. Um, we know what happened there. He was dominating uh, Abraham, um, winning every round. He was up 97, 92, 90, twice, and 98, 91 on the cards. Uh, Abraham was down in the fourth. Um, and then the 11th round, Durrell slipped. And then, Okay, here's my point. Um after that, Darrell was really inactive. But that's the Darrell we're looking at, the one that beat Froch and Abraham. That Darrell was a southpaw with some pop. We can't say he's feather fisted. He was not feather fisted. He had pop. Um, slick mover, real good off the back foot, in, fighting all three distances. Really, really good jab. Difficult to hit. Good mover. Like he was a really, really, really complete fighter. Um, that is an incredibly difficult fight for Canelo. That's the kind of guy um, you would think Canelo would have trouble with. Now, I do think probably Canelo would get through it. Canelo would probably slow him down enough and break him down enough to stop him because I think he'd have to stop because he'd be down on the cards. Durrell is a Danny Jacobs plus Billy Joe Saunders kind of combined. He's a left-handed Caleb Plant, who's a much better puncher. He's more of a boxer puncher. But a boxer, a great boxer, but with the ability to, to be a boxer puncher as well. And, and Andre Terrell 
In 2008, 2009 was really, really, really good. I mean, really good. Um, he may have what it takes to beat Canelo, or I probably lean towards Canelo. The other fight I'd be really, really interested in is, is uh, Frotch. Now, Frotch stylistically, um, look, he looks sloppy. He looks like he's flawed. I, I, I think he's a little bit like his boxing skills are a little subtle. Like he, he's doing things well. He just doesn't look the part. Um, obviously, he's a big puncher with a big chin. Um, so I think the fight would be fun. It'd be a test for Canelo. I think Canelo would need some big leather, but I ultimately think Canelo would win. Uh, Canelo can outbox him. Um, Canelo can take his chin. We all know Canelo's chin is, is durable. He's got the gas tank. So Canelo would win that fight. Um, but it would be a test, but it's a test. I think Canelo would certainly pass on points because no one knocks Carl Frost out. That chin is epic. Um, Abraham it was so flawed. He, everything was wide. Canelo would get on the inside and just beat him up. Canelo would stop Abraham. Uh, Kessler, I think he'd stop. Kessler was a fun fighter, but Kessler, no way near the level of Canelo. And Jermaine Taylor was good, hittable. He could be dropped. Canelo would finish him. So the one everyone wants to see is Andre Ward. And boy, that would be a great fight. Um... Andre Ward is made out of the same stuff as Captain America Shield. Andre Ward is a complete fighter. He's a a a jack or even a master of all trades. He can fight you on the inside. He can fight you on the outside. Remember the Alan Green fight where he just stood in the phone booth with Alan Green and beat him up, right? Saki Beaker, like he could have. I think he fought that fight all wrong, uh, but he still won it wide. Right? And Beaker was a good fighter. Right, I mean, he did so much at 168. He destroyed Kessler. He destroyed Frost. I mean, he ran through these guys, kind of like the way Canelo is running through the 168 pound division right now. This is such a good fight. Um, yeah, Ward's taller. He's an actually bigger guy. He's strong. I, I don't know who's physically stronger, but he he can keep Canelo at the end of his punch. So if you watch Plant, Plant, he did a little better, but he. He kind of pulls his punches a little short. Ward would extend him fully. Ward could keep him at the end of his punches, but you can't keep Canelo out of bay forever. Canelo is so good at slipping and getting the inside. Eventually, he is going to get inside. I think Ward's physically strong enough where he can tie him up, push him around a little bit, right? Not get bullied the way that Caleb Plant and Billy Joe did. Um, so I think he can hold his own on the inside. Well, he does not want to fight Canelo on the inside. He wants to keep Canelo on the outside where he's got natural advantages over him. Um, this is a great fight. It's a, a kind of, again, it's a 50 50 fight. Like the way I thought Darrell was more 50 50 than a lot of people do, but I would lean towards Canelo. I would lean towards Ward. Ward's been tested. Ward's been through these things, right? Ward got up off of Kovala. I know that was at 75, but he got up and finished it. Um, I like to see Ward get to his body, right? Like, Ward's a high IQ guy. I don't think anyone goes to Canelo's body enough. Um, you know, his head moves and he's really got really his body doesn't move, hit him in the body, you know, keep him busy upstairs, bang, hit him downstairs, right? I, I think Ward would do that. Ward would have the, the perfect game plan. And all this is a great fight. I, I think Ward, his IQ, his versatility would carry him through the day. I'd pick Ward to beat him, and then I'd pick Canelo to beat Darrell in a close fight, and then he'd beat everyone else. He'd stop everyone else, I think, except for Frotch. Frotch would go this because Frotch's chin is incredible. Uh, but that's kind of my take on that. But let me know what you guys think. Um, do you agree with that? I, I know Ward's the one everyone wants to debate, but Frotch, I think, would be good fights as well. Well, I think he would win those. What do you guys think? Uh, Kessler, Jermaine Taylor, Abraham, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is November 9th. 25 years ago today, uh, Vander Holyfield knocked out Mike Tyson. Makes me feel old. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.